AG Squad. Welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we have this cool mission right here, and pretty much what this is, is a cat tree. If you guys can see for the one that we got right here from this brand, and this is what the package looks like when you guys do get it. Let me actually open it up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So once you guys open it up, there's another protection layer here. And when you guys fully open it, this is what the inside looks like. So they do give you guys all different parts that's need. And they do have the letters on here labeled, so that way you know which parts for where. So this one says O. These are M, L. They even give you guys a toy for the cat to play with, which is really nice. They give you guys the screws for you to use. There's a letter Q. They do provide you guys instruction manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. They give you guys a little bag with all the tools inside in terms of screws. Right here, we do have the letter I. Right here is N. And here we do have the different parts for you to use, which is P5, P4, and etc. I love how they do label everything here for you, so it's very easy for you to set it up and install it. Here's some more parts, P1. And here's some more parts that's different than what you guys get in this one. If I do bring it a little bit closer, you can see what I mean for the difference. And here's the side where you screw it on. So the setup process and everything shouldn't be that hard since they label everything here for you, which is really nice. Right here, we do have some wooden part. That's actually real wood. It might be like bamboo wood or something, but these are labeled G, I've been seeing. Underneath that, we do have some more parts, labeled E and D. Here's letter H, and they do provide you guys a strap, I believe for you guys to strap it against the wall to prevent it from moving around when you guys do install it. Underneath that, we do have some more wood. So this one's F. This one is C, this one right here is B, and the very last thing that's on the bottom is A, and that's everything that's included in the package. So just looking at everything that's provided for you guys, it might take a while for you guys to install everything. So if you guys are confused about how to install it or how to set it up, please make sure to look at the instruction manual if the video is not helpful. But let's start installing it to show you guys how to set it up. So when we do take a look at the instruction manual, it doesn't seem like it's that hard. It shows you guys the total of seven different steps on here. And they do label everything on here from A, B, C, D, and which different part for it to use, which is really nice and very convenient. So let's start installing it. So the first thing that we're gonna start with is A, which is this part right here. And what we're gonna do is flip around to our side. Once we do that, we wanna put a P5. So P5 are these. And you guys wanna put these on this side. And it looks like P1 should go right here. And then the letter K should go right here. Let me see what's K. I'm thinking this one is probably K, but let me double check. So actually I think this is K. So this one's gonna go right here. So what I'm gonna do is screw it on. All right. Once we do that, we wanna screw the other parts on. You wanna use the A screw. So the A screw should be the, let me see, should be seven of them, which is inside right here. So let's take a look and open it. So looking at all the screws I provided, these are probably the A, a screws. So you wanna use these. And since we do have the screw from the bottom, we'll do one of them at a time. And for this one, we do need to use a tool to screw it, which they do include it for you guys inside. So if you guys do have a power drill with this one, you can use that instead. But they do probably got all the tool, which is really nice. But let's screw it on. So I'm gonna put this inside right here and screw it onto the other side like this. All right, do the same thing for the other one. All right, do the same thing for this one as well. So, so far so good. If you can see the process is actually very easy. It doesn't really take that much effort, but it definitely takes some time. But the good thing about the material that they use on here for the screws and different parts is actually very high quality. So you don't have to worry about having like cheap material when you guys install it, which makes your process a lot easier. If you guys install a lot of tables and chairs, you guys will know the difference when you guys do have high quality screws versus cheap screws. And also when they do probably you guys accessories, like these tools for you guys to screw it on, it makes it life so much easier. So we just finished step one. One right now is put this on one side and we'll work on C. So this one is B and this is C. So when you guys are setting up C, you guys wanna put G on this side and G on this side. So let's put these on one side, so we work on G. So like I mentioned, the ones with this, these are G. And for this part, we need to use our, the screw. So the screw should be here. And we're gonna need to use the tool. So we need to use uh, letter D and C. So these are C. We need four of them. And we also need D. So for those guys who are curious about which is which, this one is C and this is D. So when you guys set it up, you guys can put it on here. Make sure this part right here that has an opening on both sides is uh, facing inward. So I'm actually doing this side so I didn't see it. So it should go like that. And it also looks like we do need E after looking at it. So let's get E. E is pretty much the wooden part right here. And E pretty much goes on the middle one. And then C goes here on the white part. So I'm screw this on first. All right, do the same thing for other ones. All right, so once you guys have done that part, you can insert it in, so just like this. Make sure it fits into the hole. And then what you guys wanna do is put the D part, D on right here. Make sure it fits into the hole correctly. 
Once you guys got it in, you guys can turn it to lock it in. And you guys want you to screw to tighten up on both sides. All right, so that's good. Do the same thing for our side as well. All right, once we finish that, you guys want to get D and E to insert it in. So D will go on this side. Make sure it fits on both of the holes like that. If you guys need to adjust it, feel free to adjust it and push it forward and do the same thing for the other one, which is E. Once you guys do that, you guys are finished with step three and two. So now we work on step four. Once you guys are done with that, now we work on step five or actually step four actually. F is this part right here. We're gonna work on the top part right here. That has more holes, just like what you guys got on the other one, which is uh, C. So I wanna do the same thing, get the same parts and do the same thing on here. So the wooden part in here, and screw this part on. And the other thing that's actually really cool about this product is the fact that it, the way how they made the screws or different parts here, if you guys ever need to like take it apart, it's actually very easy. Because like I mentioned, the way how they designed it or the material they use on here is actually very high quality. So high quality to the point that the screws are actually very easy for you to set up and put away, or, take, or even take it apart. All right, so once we finish this, we could insert it in. And be careful when you guys put the wood on here. It's probably more ideal for you guys to put it in here instead. After that, just fell off, you can see. So just insert it inside right here like this. Once you guys do that, you can put this on. Make sure it fits all the holes, just like that. And what we want to do right now is use D to put it inside and do the same thing to actually tighten up. So this part right here might be a little bit harder for you to see it. Once you guys finish that, you got it done with step four. And now you can work on step five. So pretty much what step five is for you guys to put this on top. So I'm actually move this to one side for now. And we'll put this over here. So what I understand is that we want to put this on top like this. So I'm actually turn it around to show you guys what it looks like from the other side when we do install it. So we need to use this tool right here and this one. So we need two of them to screw it on right here for the inside. And you guys want to be careful when you guys do handle it because it is kind of heavy. So I'm going to go like this. Make sure it fits on the hole and screw it on for both of the holes inside. There's one here and one right there. So I'll make sure both of them goes in first before you guys make it tighter. All right, so that should be good. Once you guys finish installing that part, what you're gonna do is get the next part and put it on right here and on top. And there's another part on top as well right here. And we're gonna use A and B. So it looks like B is this part right here. Let me double check. So B is these, these long ones. And we're gonna use A right here for this part. So P4 is this part right here. So we'll do that first since that's probably easier. Put it inside the hole and screw this on. And we get the tool to tighten up. And I'm sorry if I can't show you guys the inside because it's kind of hard as I'm installing it. But hopefully this video is actually really helpful to help you guys install and see how to install it. So what I want to do right now is get I. So it looks like this is I right here. And then we're gonna need P2. So this P2 and this P3. So this one will probably go right here, facing outward. And you wanna screw this part, which is B, through it. Screw on P2. And be careful with this part right here because it's kind of like sharp in a way. If you guys wanna put on some glove or something, feel free to do so. Or even just get one of these right here to hold it as you guys turn it. So that's good. So we're done with step five and now we can work on step six. But pretty much what this part right here is a little net thing where it can just hang out inside, which I'll show you at a closer up view in a second when we do finish installing it. So pretty much right here, we're gonna put the next platform, which is B. So B is this part, and we're gonna put it just on top like this. And we're gonna use A for this side, or actually A for this side and B on this side. So A right here. And we're gonna use B for the other side. So B right here. All right, so for the next part for L, let me see where's L. This is O, this is M, this is L. So I guess for L, you guys want to put this on top like this. You probably want to stick something on here because they do have the stickers on for you to stick. But for this test, we'll just leave it on like this for now. Yeah, so for this part, they tell you guys to peel out the back part of Q, which they do prior here for you to stick it on to the platform on top and then stick this on top. So that way they can use the spot if they want to. But for this test, we won't use that. And then right here, we do have N. So N pretty much goes inside like this. So that way they do have, they do have like a little pillow inside to relax. And we're done with step six. So the final step is step seven. So step seven, you guys want to do the same thing. Use Q, put this on top right here. 
and stick this platform on top right here. That way they can use this area as well. But for this test, we're not gonna do anything for that part. But one right now is to put this on with a P3. Screw this part on as well. All right. And for this part, since it's getting really high, I can't really reach the top part anymore. I'm gonna put this down onto the ground. So that way it's easier for me to actually screw it on. And that way you can kind of see a little bit better as well. All right. So we put this down on the floor. So one right now is to put uh, H on with this part right here. So this is the one that give you guys a strap for you to strap it onto the wall when you guys do set it up. But for this test, we're not gonna do that. So pretty much what I wanna do is screw this on top of here. And you guys wanna make sure to put it into a way where this part right here on the bottom, there's two screw area. The other one, you guys wanna make sure it fits this way. So that way you put the other uh, accessory on here with a little ball, which I'll show you in a second. Let's screw it on first. All right, screw it on. Very easy and very simple, you can see. All right, so that's good. So they do give you guys a backup one if you guys need to use it, which is really cool. But this is the one we want to screw on. So I'll screw on right here in the bottom. So that way they do have another toy for them to play with. All right, once you guys are done with that, the last part is for you guys to just put this on top. So it's like a net area where you just strap it on. This one's a little bit harder for you guys to install it, but it should be stretchable if you have to stretch it on. All right. So once you guys finish setting up and nailing the back part on the wall to give you guys the actual support for the actual product, this is what the product looks like once you guys finish setting up. And everything else that's remained right here is a backup option for you guys to use in case anything happens to it. But this is what the final product looks like. Let me bring the camera a little closer to show you guys a close up view of what the product looks like. All right, so if you guys do bring the camera a little closer, here's what it looks like on top. Here is this part. So that's a little ball they can play with right here. And there's another one right here in the bottom for them to play with as well. This part right here is very cute. They do have the little cutout of like a cat. And they do have all these different uh, platforms for them to use. One right here, one right here, inside, outside here, top part, or even here as well. And like I mentioned, for this mat, you guys can install it on when you guys do stick it on. But you feel free to play around with it however you guys want. If you guys can put it like this, put it like this, put it in a different section at the bottom or something, you guys can feel free to move it around. But this is what the product looks like once you guys do fully set it up. It can see very easy and very simple. I think this whole process took me around like 20 minutes to set it up. And definitely feels very high quality once you guys do finish installing it. But this is the final product. So if you can see the whole setup process and everything is very easy and very simple. It actually looks very nice once you guys do fully install it. But that is everything that's on the product. Now to go unboxing and test on product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth it or not. So for this part, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. If you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality cat tree that's very similar to what you guys get right here for the different sections and everything that you get right here for your cat to play with, relax, and also scratch stuff on here as well. Then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, obviously don't buy one and save your money something else actually do need so that's basically everything for this video itself if you guys like this video make sure to smash that like button in the bottom that will definitely help this video out and it'll definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well but as always make sure to stay positive be you and i'll see you guys in the next episode of is it worth it peace